just based on other research in other areas, I would think that it would be good to have a collection of fairly short videos rather than really long ones and that they'd be very focused on specific learning objectives so it's clear to the learner what they're supposed to be getting out of this. And I think it's also good to use video for, um, um, for what it's particularly good at, which is, I would say, personalization. So if we, we want to understand okay, um, Piaget's theory, it might be good to get a short clip of him actually describing it himself um, because you could see he's a real person. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be long, but it just kind of gets you to know him maybe. And, and also, I think video is good for concretizing things. So you can explain forever, you know, what something, how something works, like how a pulley system works, but actually seeing it in, a, in a, just a short video or even an animation is, is really useful also. So I think there are particularly good ways to use video. Um, and, um, you know, that's, that's what I really want to focus on. And yeah, I, I know production quality is important and I don't, I don't really have a lot to say about that because that's really not my, my area, but you could have really great production quality and, and a completely ineffective lesson if it isn't designed, you know, based on pedagogical principles. So to me, the number one issue is that it's pedagogically sound. Um, production quality is always nice, but somehow, you know, I think students learn um, from technology even when the production maybe isn't isn't perfect if the actual instructional design is good.